course, many of us are looking for ways to get through the next few weeks of lockdown stress-free, but could the answer lie in the night sky? Well, according to some experts, living your life with an awareness of the moon's cycles could be the key to boosting our health and happiness. Well, today we're joined by our own moon mentor, Kirsty Gallagher, to explain more. Good morning, Kirsty, and it's lovely to see you again. Um, just explain what sort of got you into this in the first place. I was in India about 13 years ago doing my yoga teacher training and it's traditional um, not to practice on new and full moon days and it amazed me watching the difference in people's energies, emotions, struggles, what people were going through um, and I, I fell in love. It, it's just fascinating. It's funny because, I mean, I have been a little sceptical about some of the things that we've covered on the show. I find it difficult to believe that you could actually re uh, read your future from asp asparagus um, or <laughs> hear messages from uh, a lawnmower. Uh, all of the things that we, we have covered. Uh, however, the moon is interesting. If we are 90% water and the moon influences uh, the oceans of the world, it stands to reason for me that there's got to be some sort of influence purely... Uh, physically with the moon. Exactly. And that's that's pretty much how it works. If we think that the moon turns the tides and the gravitational pull of the moon is what keeps the Earth on its axis, when we think about the watery inner world of our emotions and our dreams and our inner world, the moon has kind of the similar a similar effect on that. And you found that more people have been drawn to the practice of moon meditation, which is what you're going to teach us in a moment, uh, during these lockdowns. Absolutely. I think it's been beautiful to see. I think working with the cycles of the moon, particularly at the time that we're in now, has given people an anchor point in times that felt so uncertain. The moon moves through all these phases and cycles. And so tuning into that when we've lost a lot of our routine has given us something to turn back to, to anchor into. We've got to blame the moon sometimes for how we're feeling. And it's also brought about a real sense of community, I think. We all see the same moon in the same sky. And so I've often, with my friends and family, gone outside and we've all looked at the, the moon and known that even though we're not together, it brings us together. We're still all under that same moon, which has been really special. Absolutely. So what, um, what, what actual influences does it have over us? The most people, people normally feel emotional impulses the most. And so the new moon, when there is no moon in the sky, which we had last week, is the lowest energetic point of the lunar cycle. So it's the time that we should be resting and going inwards and taking care of ourselves. But the thing As is, though, they see now this is this confuses me a little bit now because you can't see the moon, but it is there. So the, the actual physical being itself is just covered by the sun. It's in shadow. So it, it exists. It's not as if the moon's not in the sky. It is there. It's just not got light on it. Exactly. So she's self-caring. She's taken herself away for a little bit of rest, a little bit of downtime. And that's what we should be doing at that same time, the same way the moon will disappear from the sky for a few nights. It's important that we give ourselves that, that same kind of care a couple of times a month to just say... It's a lot that we're going through right now. And so just to say, you know, I, I just need a little bit of time out, even if it was just a couple of hours for myself. And so the opposite of that would be said for the full moon? Yes. So as the moon waxes and grows bigger in the sky every night, our energy levels tend to rise with that. Our um, need to want to kind of shine and put ourselves out there a bit more tends to grow. And then when we get the full moon, that's the peak energy point of the lunar cycle. So that's when, again... Um, People tend to really feel the effects of the word lunacy, obviously coming from Luna, will feel everything's out there, our emotions are out there, everything feels very heightened around a full moon. So what is moon meditation? Moon meditation is really just tuning into those cycles of the moon and using the, I mean, our ancestors used to live by the moon, using that kind of ancient wisdom and guidance and rhythm and flow of the moon to help us to live our lives in a similar cyclical way. And especially at the time that we're in now, we're not the same every day. We're going through so many different emotions daily, sometimes hourly, that once we start to live in a cycle, we allow ourselves again to be that bit more cyclical and we allow it rather than fight it. Well, can you give us a little taste of one of your moon meditations now? love to okay so very simply just wherever you are sit close your eyes we're only going to be here for a moment or so 
And I want you just to visualize for me that little waxing crescent moon in the sky we have at the moment, that little sliver of light in the sky from the moon. I'm beginning to feel for me as though the moon is sending down little moonbeams, as though silvery white little moonbeams are beginning to shower down all around you. I'm feeling with this as though the moon begins to create this protective little moon bubble around you, as though you feel as though you are now wrapped in this little bubble of light and protection. Now for the next breath or so, I want you to gently just breathe away anything you don't need right now, any worries, any anxieties, anything you don't need. Imagine it gently moving just outside of this little bubble. So you begin to feel now more at peace, more quiet, more still. And knowing now that nothing can come back in this bubble unless you allow it to. So for the rest of today, you are now wrapped in this beautiful, protective bubble of moonbeams. Feeling yourself as really safe, calm and relaxed. Just another really, really big, deep breath here. And then gently blinking open your eyes as you're ready. What we hope to feel now is just surrounded. <laughs> Philip, tell me you're surrounded now by moonbeams. I feel I very mean... calm. I threw everything out of my bubble. I'm not going to let anything back into my bubble. How much do I owe you for that now? <laughs> that was lovely. Really nice. I think any any moment where you just stop and pause and kind of try and slow your heart rate down a bit and just take a moment is so important right now. Um, thank you. I know you're, the last time you came on, your book, Lunar Living, became a Sunday Times bestseller. You've got your second book now, Learn Lunar Living Journal. And so is this so that people can kind of write their own journey? Exactly. I wanted people to live by their own words as well as mine. And so it will take you through an entire year of the lunar cycles every full and new moon so that you get that chance to, just like we did then, pause, reflect, check in with where you are. Um, so, yeah, it'll take you through an entire year. Thank, thank you. Guesty. Thank you as so always. much. Thank you very Lovely. much. Thank you for having me again. Thank you no, so much. All, thank you. It's all very relaxing. Did you have a go? Um, if you did and you just felt nice, um, let us know and we'll read some out in a bit.